Hey! Hey! I got a word for y'all. My brother. Hey! Hey! First thing I would like to, to invite us to do, you know, somewhere in the scripture said where two or three of you are gathered in his name, God will be present. Is that right? Yes. So let's, let's, let's lock arms and have a word of prayer before we have anything to say. In the name of the great God, who was to come and who has come for the redemption and the salvation of his people. Dear God, we petition you this day, as your sons and your daughters are grieving and hurting and suffering and are in pain, we invite your spirit to be with us today, Lord. We invite your healing power to be with us today, Lord. We ask that you would heal us from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. We ask that you would heal the infirmities of our bodies, Lord. We ask that you would heal the conditions of our minds, Lord. We ask that you would give a restoration of our spirit, Lord. We ask that you would be with us in our soul, and most importantly of all, we ask that you would do as you said you would do in the scriptures, Lord. We ask that you would take away from us a heart of stone where we don't really love each other the like way we should. We ask that you would take away from us a heart of stone where we don't respect one another the way we should. We ask that you would take away from us a heart of stone and put within us a heart of flesh, one of love for mothers and daughters, for sisters, for women and girls, for the elderly, for the sick, for the young and for the babies. We ask that your spirit would be with us today, Lord, and make us a living people again. Make us a vibrant people again and bless us to do what is the work before us today, which is to unite and be like the proverbial dry bones in the valley. When suffering came on the dry bones, you know that you sent your winds, Lord. The dry bones were complaining that they couldn't come together. They couldn't get right. They were a can't get right kind of folk, Lord. Kind of like we are today in foot homes. But you sent the winds of change. You sent the pain of suffering to make us to think and to reflect and to come together, Lord, that we might unite and stand up as an exceedingly great army for your glory and your service. Lord, we ask you in the mighty name of all of your great servants, Moses and Abraham, Jesus, Muhammad, and the great revolutionaries of the struggle in America, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, Minister Louis Farrakhan, Ida B. Wells, and Frederick Douglass, we ask you in the names of the great ones to be with us today, to heal us, to restore us, and to bless us in the days to come. In your name we pray, amen. We love it, brothers and sisters. We love it, brothers and sisters. We just wanted to say just a brief word on behalf of Sister Terry and Brother Zach, Brother Kyle and their whole family, and most importantly, our baby sister Shug, whose life was violently taken just a few hours ago. We are here today on behalf of Minister Anthony Muhammad and the local office of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And we extend to you on behalf of Minister Farrakhan his love, his greetings, and his well wishes and his condolences during this time of our need. We are happy not to be here on this occasion, but we are thankful to God that so many of you made time in your schedule to come out to support this family. This family will need our continued support. They will need our moral and our spiritual support but they will also need something of our financial support. Now, I'm talking to a community that's got a few ends, because I see a lot of Jordans on folk feet out here today. So we want to put our little sister Shug away with dignity and with some respect. So at a certain point, they may invite you to dig into your pocket, your purses, or whatever resources you have to help us in making sure that our little sister Shug has a decent and an honorable home going. Beloved brothers and sisters, we're at a critical period of time. 
we had a period of time where this kind of thing is happening too much. We were just here just a few weeks ago when our young, beautiful sister lost her life just a few blocks from here when she was sitting out like young girls need to be able to sit out on an air conditioning unit and just have some fun, enjoy the breeze, enjoy the weather, and be with our family and friends. But there's a spirit among us of self-hatred. There's a spirit among us of disrespect. There's a spirit among us that causes us, instead of to see each other as brothers and sisters and as the children of God, there's a spirit among us that causes us to see each other as enemies to one another. I seem to remember something that Jesus said in the scripture. Now, I think that's important because we right across the street from a church. And Jesus, you know, he was dealing with his disciples one day. And he asked his disciples this question. How can you love God whom you have never seen and hate your brother and sister that you see every day? Jesus was Amen. letting us on to something real important. That if you go, get down on your knees at night and you pray to God for a blessing, if you pray to God for protection or salvation, and then you get up off your knees and curse out your husband or your wife or your son and your daughter, you just invalidated your prayer because the God that you believe in, His Spirit is in your brother, His Spirit is in your sister, your son, your daughter, and your husband and wife. All that needs to be done is spoken to, activated, and developed. So, beloved brothers and sisters, we don't want to belabor the time. We're here for our brother, Brother Zach, and Sister Terry and their whole family. It's now time for us to wrap our arms around them and embrace them. And you know, everybody is asking the question, did they find the shooter? Has he been arrested? And that's all well and good. But that's after the fact. The old folk used to say, where I come from down in the country, that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of the cure. I'm going to say that again. An ounce of prevention is worth a whole pound of the cure. We have to now begin to find ways to prevent this kind of senseless killing of our future. Should represents our future. Where is this going to find a part of the I want to show y'all this because this is the headline from last week's Final Call newspaper. Little girl lost. Did you know that Jesus' mother Mary was a little black girl once upon a time? Don't you remember reading in the Bible when Mary had to escape into Egypt to hide detection of her pregnancy? Egypt is in Africa. Egypt or ancient Kemet, the land of black and brown skinned people. Mary couldn't go and hide in Egypt if she didn't look like the other African Egyptians. So she was just like these little girls. Suge was just like Mary, Jesus' mother. And you know when we lose our baby girls, I want to say this to the men. When we have an environment where our women and our girls are not safe, that invalidates our claim to be men. I want to say that again to all of the brothers. Listen well. Listen! The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has taught to us that when we have a community where our women and our girls are not safe, it invalidates our claim to be real men. Go ahead, no. So I don't care what we call ourselves, if our women and our girls are not safe, we are not real men. So we got work to do and we invite you to come and get some of the training that we have received. You see young men with us that used to be in the streets, used to be in prisons, used to be in the crack house, used to be on the corner selling death to their people. But they heard a word coming from God's servant, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, and it made us put down the crack vial. It made us put the needle down. It made Woo! us stop selling poison Woo! to our people. And it made us to want to be saviors of our people, of people that the world does not give a damn about. Hello, so brothers and Hello. sisters. It's time for us to unite. It's time for us to love one another. And it's time for us to begin to prevent the violence that we see in the community. Thank you for listening to the few words we've had to say. I pray that we've said something that will edify you, instruct you, and bless you.
Oh no! 